This show is brought to you thanks to our sponsors. Lampard, rigs and accessories for the DSLR shooter. Sex seats, tripods and crimes for the video professional. Review Hub once more here Frank and the host for the show today as always today we're gonna to be taking a look at a product that you use in the everyday production and this is a, tri a tripod this tripod is from a company in the US called Succeed and we're gonna be taking a look at the Rich 7 from Succeed let's, let's open the, the package and let's see what is inside okay guys here we go this is the package that comes with the uh, with the tripod and this as I say is the Rich 7 Pro Succeed. It's a tripod that holds about 40 pounds and it has a counterbalance payload of about 20 pounds. This is the nice package how it comes. I put it on the wrong side. The head is here and this is this mega tripod. This is the head of the tripod and now what we're going to do is that we're going to put it uh, together. The legs for this tripod are very sturdy and they are fiber carbon so that's going to help you uh, to save some weight. Nevertheless, this tripod is very heavy. I'm not gonna recommend this for you to, to use it on a, on a long trip to put it on your back or anything like that. It's a full camera uh, ENG uh, tripod. And uh, now let's talk a little bit about uh, the head a little bit. Let's okay, change. let's take a look at the first part of the tripod and this is the head. I mean, we've been using Manfrotto for some time now. We used to have the 541 and the 503. And recently we're using a shooting at 504. I'm gonna tell you this head is way more, uh, it looks more robust than even the Manfrotto 504. As I said before, it's rated for 40 pounds and it has a counterbalance uh, payload of about 20 pounds. I love the way how it looks. I love the way that it's, it's very heavy. It's a 100 mil uh, he uh, ball head tripod. And it comes with all of the options that you might need uh, for a professional uh, setup. First, this lap here, this latch, is quick to release the quick release plate of the tripod. So you don't need to be sliding in and out. It's very easy to, to maneuver and to use. I love it, it's very secure. Okay, when you put it here, oops, when you put it here and you just release it, it's all it takes for, for the tripod to be, for, for your equipment to be secure. Now, how do you balance the camera up and down? It's simple. If you release this little latch here, this whole top part of the head move back and forth about seven centimeters. Uh, it's about uh, two and a half inches. So you got enough room for you to play with the balance of the, of the, of the equipment. Then on this side, you have the, the release latch for the, um, up and down movement, which is with, without the handle is very, is very heavy. And the back here, you have the counterbalance system, which it goes from one to eight. Our rigs is about 18 pounds, and it holds the whole thing in position. When you have it loose, it's very easy to move, but if you try to put it on the, on the last uh, number, it will be really, really difficult for you to move it. And on this side, you have the drag, the drag is for you to be able to move up and down, you tilt movement softer, okay? Or you put some re uh, res uh, resistance to it. Down here in the bottom is the drag system for the panning, okay? Here in zero, it's very easy for me to move it from one side to another one. As soon as I put, let's say, three points of it, it gets really, really, really hard for you to maneuver. Now, with the, with, the, um, with, this, with the whole system working, it's a lot easier. I love the, the fact that it's uh, illuminator, the ball head in the back here, <clears throat> and as I say, it's a 100 millimeter ball. Let's take a look at how the whole thing looks together, including the legs now. Okay, guys, here, here is the uh, tripod with the legs. As I said before, these legs are carbon fiber, and the legs alone are rated for about, uh, I believe it's 190 pounds. The head is rated for 40 pounds. Here's the, how the whole system works and how it looks. This is the handle, very, very nice size. And this is what I was telling you before. You have here <coughs> the drag system 
okay let me lose this for the tripod if you put it on a five which is the hot, the the hardest one it's really really tough for you to move it up and down when you have really heavy equipment this works as a charm and on this side now you have the uh, counterbalance system where you can counterbalance easily about 20 pounds as i said before our rig uh, both of our rigs is about 18 to 20 pounds and this thing you put it on one position and it goes beautiful it works really nice i'm really surprised with the quality of this uh, of this tripod i'm really surprised in the way how they handle everything um, Davey at sexc usa was uh, kind enough to send us this this unit as a test first but then we decided to keep it all of our tripods from now on are going to be succeed tripod not only because they are really good quality but when you compare to uh to other brands you're saving a lot of money this tripod goes for about 2500 dollars in the us and if you compare to other brands like satchel or something like that you're going to be you're going to be saving over 1500 dollars now what we're going to do is that we're going to put the equipment here the rig and show you how it looks okay guys now we have here our um our Lampard, uh, Lampard rig already uh, rigged up with the 60D talking at 11 to 16 mat bolts, the monitor, the Lampard uh, shoulder support on the tripod. And here I have the tripod for the counterbalance system only on three points. So if I move the rig on this position, it's still on three points, it's pulling it back. Why? Because it has a lot of, a lot of uh, weight capacity. I'm going to put it on two here, and this is going to allow the camera to stay in one place. So if you're going to have to shoot something vertical or uh, uh, with, with a lot of tilt movement, this tripod is really going to help you. Here is freely moving from the uh, panning, but if, I'm gonna, if I put some uh, restriction or some drag to it, it helps me to maneuver a lot easier. Why? because it's giving me that sensation. It's really nice. I mean, I would, I would recommend this tripod to anyone that wants to have a tripod that is gonna last for a, a, last, for a long time. I will say that these legs are not gonna be able, to, I'm not gonna be in the need of replacing it for at least five to 10 years. And the head, the same way. Uh, the next model up is the Rich A, but if you have a heavier equipment than this, let's say you have a Scarlet, if you have a, a red one or something like that, I will go with the Rich 9, which is um, rated for about 80 pounds, something like that. Uh, but anyway, contact Debbie and she will be able to answer all of your questions. So thank you so much for being with us here uh, once more. And next week we're going to have another review of another product that we're receiving on the mail today. Thank you so much and see you later.